everyone, I'm Dread DJ Dawson, and welcome to the Zig Selenium Guide. This guide will show what masteries, runes, and items are most efficient while playing Zigs, as well as show several lane tactics. On Zigs, I like to take 2109 masteries with a point in either Runic Affinity for extra blue buff duration, or a point in Culinary Master for extra HP and mana. Another common mastery page for Ziggs is putting 21 points into offense and 9 into defense. The points in defense are useful when put into a tough lane as they provide extra HP and HP regen. Flash is mandatory on Ziggs as it allows them to escape enemies or pursue foes. Barrier is also a great summoner spell on him as it enables him to survive enemies bursts. Ignite is also a great option if you think you can kill your opponent in lane. However, Barrier is the safer choice if you are unsure. On Ziggs, the most common rune page is Magic Pen Marks, Armor Seals, Magic Resist Glyphs, and AP Quints. To start off the game on Ziggs, pick up a Doran's Ring, two pots, and a Warding Totem Trinket. On your first back, you should look to pick up another Doran's Ring, Boots, refill your HP pots, and pick up a Sight or Vision Ward. During the mid game, you should be looking to build into an Athene's Unholy Grail as it provides many beneficial stats to Ziggs. Start by building a Chalice to provide that extra mana regen in lane. This allows Ziggs to harass opponents much more without having to worry about mana. Later in the game, I often build Death Cap and Void Staff. These two items will enable you to nuke your opponents quite easily. Lichbane and Zonias are also great items on Ziggs. Lichbane empowers your auto attacks after casting a spell, which is useful since Ziggs uses auto attacks quite frequently. Zonias is great too if you are getting focused in team fights, as it allows you to become immune for a small duration. In this next section of the video, I'll briefly go over Ziggs' ability, starting with his Q, Bouncing Bomb. Bouncing Bomb is Zig's main damage ability, so it is recommended to max first. Bouncing Bomb travels a longer distance if aimed farther away from Zig's. Bouncing Bomb will bounce a maximum of three times, or until hitting an enemy unit or structure. This includes towers and walls. Satchel Charge can be used to leap over walls or disrupt enemies. Placement of this ability is key in team fights, as it can be used to cancel channeled ulties, such as Lucian's Culling. This ability also grants vision and a small radius around it. Explosive Minefield is a great zoning ability. If used correctly, this ability can help secure objectives such as Dragon or Baron. This ability will damage, slow, and briefly reveal enemies hit. This ability is a long cooldown, so correct placement is mandatory. Mega Inferno Bomb is Zig's ultimate. This ability has a huge range and can be used to steal objectives, clear minion waves in other lanes, or help allied champions from a long distance. This part of the guide will show you how to play the laning phase as Ziggs. Start with your Q to get optimal harass, then level your E second and your W third. You'll be maxing your Q as it provides the most consistent damage and has a short cooldown. Make sure to keep an eye on your passive as well to add extra damage to your auto attacks. Make sure not to miss too many minions while harassing, try to find a balance between last hitting and harassment. An easy way to hit your bouncing bomb in lane is to wait until the enemy goes for a last hit on a minion. At this point you should attempt to throw out a Q as they will be focused on getting that minion and not dodging your abilities. Make sure to know who the enemy jungler is to determine if you can push the tower safely without getting ganked. Junglers to be careful around early include Elise and Lee Sin. When playing against dangerous junglers, make sure to ward both sides of the brush and try not to move past the halfway point in mid. Ziggs excels in the early game against nearly every other mid lane champ due to his insane poke. After 6 however, many assassins such as LeBlanc can pick off Ziggs easily if not played carefully. It is best to clear waves from a safe distance at this point or make sure barrier is still available in the case that they attempt to kill you. Once you reach level 6, it is important to look at other lanes for potential ganks. To make sure their mid lane does not follow you, push the minion wave to the tower as quickly as possible, then roam while they are forced to clear the wave or lose XP and gold. 
in this case. Vault looks skankable, so I roam down and set up an easy kill for the Draven, putting his lane at an advantage. In the final clip, our team is attempting Dragon. When securing objectives, remember to use your E and W effectively to zone your opponents. Here I use Satchel Charge to keep the jungler away from Dragon, so he's no chance of smiting it. I hope you enjoyed the Ziggs laning guide. Thanks for watching.